Hello booktube and welcome back to my channel, Lola here. Um, I'm in my pyjamas because I'm having a pyjama day, I don't have to go to work, I don't have to even leave the house today. So I'm standing here in my pyjamas and I don't care. Um, today I bring you my wrap up for the month of December and I haven't really read a huge amount this month because I had a bit of a reading slump during the middle of, around right about the middle of the month. So yeah, I will tell you what I read, I'll tell you what I think of the books and yeah, let's get to it. Now, while it's still fresh in my mind, because I've literally just finished A Picture of Dorian Gray on my Kindle, I will tell you about that first. Obviously, classics can be a little confusing sometimes, especially if you don't know context. But yeah, I got through it. Um, it is a little misogynistic and yeah. It made me cringe a little bit sometimes, but I did enjoy it overall. Um, it did take me a little while to read it, but yeah, it's still okay. I read another classic. I haven't read a classic since I was at uni, where I was having to read, well, when I was having to read certain classics, like The Odyssey and The Iliad and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I enjoyed doing it, so um, obviously I don't enjoy reading classics more than I re like reading, you know, the entertainment, like the other books I read this month. But yeah, it was good and people died and the painting got old and then, spoiler alert, Dorian Gray dies because everybody dies. <laughs> but yes, it was it was a good book and I'm glad I read it. Another book I read this month and this also took me a while and this is something that I don't know if it caused the reading slump or if it was just happening whilst I read it but James, da James Dashner's Kill Order. I can be a little funny with prequels because especially when they don't hold the same characters I got through it eventually it was hard to get into because I was used to following Thomas in the Maze Runner series um, but it was good, it gave you a good context of what was going on in the later books and it is very very good to read afterwards it's just whether you're good with sequels or not I do have to read sequels but it always takes me a little while to get through them. Things like The Hobbit are okay because there are certain characters that are the same, like Gandalf, but this was just totally different and it went back in time and it just told a completely different story. So yeah, it did take me a moment to get into it, but I enjoyed it. It wasn't what I expected, but at the same time it was because uh, the disease was caused by the government according to this book and it, it confused me a little bit but I was expecting that to have happened because the government body of these of the series are quite nasty anyway so yeah it was a good book I enjoyed it a lot of things I didn't expect happened a lot of things I expected to happen happened so yeah overall it was quite good and when I finished that I read four by Veronica Roth I absolutely love the Divergent series and I got through this really fast. I got over my reading slump straight into this. Um, the comics helped me get over my reading slump as well, so yeah. But this is a really small book. It's a few stories put together in Ford's perspective, Tobias Eaton that is. And yeah, I really did enjoy it because the sections are basically for deciding he wants to get away from abnegation going into Dauntless kind of thing and then there, oh, there's also the introduction of Veronica Roth telling us what happened and why she wanted to write it and all that kind of thing you see Tobias Eaton becoming an initiate and meeting his mother and meeting Triss and it's just so good because it's from all it's all from his perspective and I'm so used to Tress's perspective and then the last book four came into it so I got used to four's perspective so I got into this quite easily which is good plus it's all the same characters again so I really did enjoy this book and it was a really really good finish off kind of to the story so yeah I really really did like it the three comics I read I showed you before and I loved them I've got to give them my fiance back soon, but there was Deadpool, and that is the ones with Deadpool, it is called. And um, it was really, really funny. I was in stitches on my own, and I must have sounded like a lunatic. 
But um, the funny thing was, where was it? The last bit was really funny because my fiance has a thing for chimichangas and Deadpool has a thing for chimichangas and I just kind of put them together and it just was, it was so amusing in my mind. And he says, I have a healing factor, also I wish to eat chimichangas. And you have to obviously read the context of the section first, but I found that really, really funny. And you just see all these different scenarios that Deadpool puts himself in and you just have to laugh because he doesn't take anything seriously and it is just way too funny. The next one I read was Guardians of the Galaxy slash X-Men comic kind of thing. And basically everybody's trying to save Jean Grey. She's come from the past so she hasn't committed any of these crimes as the Phoenix yet. So they're trying to prosecute her for crimes she hasn't committed yet. So the Guardians of the Galaxy and the X-Men trying to all save her from being prosecuted. So yeah, it's a really good comic. It's kind of serious but you get quite a few jokes in there because of Rocket Raccoon and Groot and Drax is really funny. So yeah, um, Cyclops is obviously really serious as he always is but <laughs> yeah I really did enjoy that and yeah you should read it. And the last comic I read was the Rocket Raccoon comic which was really really funny too because Rocket Raccoon just doesn't take himself seriously, he's always in prison, he's always doing things that's stupid and it's really funny and at one point in this comic which I found really amusing was this kind of massive squadron of his ex-girlfriends coming after him and trying to kill him um, or trying to get revenge on him in some way because he just kind of goes to them and says goodbye and yeah he's a bit of a sleeper about but yes this was really funny and I think you should read it because it's always good to laugh anyway that is everything I read this month because like I said I had that reading slump. Um, hope you have had a good Christmas and a happy new year. Please subscribe, please hit that thumbs up and please comment because like I said before I really want to talk to you guys and I don't be, seem to be getting many comments. So please do and I will see you soon. Bye!